Hey guys, Johnny Corthius here. I'm at Edo Red headquarters and we're doing a deep dive on the pinch, trying to figure out other methods that it can be used for aside from just a sport belay device. Important to note here that this device does carry an EN12841 certification for use as a descender. So we're gonna actually put it to a uh, task here as a descender and as part of its own system, like we would see uh, in the rope access or arboriculture environments. So first up, we have a, what happens if you drop your main device? Well, if you did drop your main device, your regular descender, you could literally just grab your pinch, you could hook it up to the rope and you could proceed to either work or descend and go get your main device back. It goes onto the rope quite simple, exactly like you would another device. Um, the changeover on it happens exactly the same as well. So yeah, yet again, you find yourself at height, you drop your device, grab your pinch, hook it up and get back to it. All right, next up, utilizing this to position yourself on a second line. Imagine that you're on a normal set of uh, ropes coming down, a normal drop set. You would have your main descender on one side and then you would have your backup on the other. If you found yourself in a position where you wanted to have your load shared between the two lines that are in operation, or maybe you needed to do some little traversing from side to side, you can just use the pinch as a secondary device. We call this working on dual mains. In that position, you literally would take your pinch and you would install it underneath your backup. At that stage, because you have two 12A41 descending devices, you could shed your backup if you wanted to. You could also just leave it in play and then just position on the two systems. You can also, with a little bit of practice, use both of the devices with one hand and it allows you to be very versatile with your positioning. Next up, using this as a releasable system in rescue scenarios. Well, number one, if you find yourself getting into a position where you are going to rescue a casualty, this is a great little pre-built system that you can use as mechanical advantage to hoist your casualty into a seated position and then lower them back onto their descender after you've performed changeover or something like that. Now, what you can also do is you can pre-attach this to the anchor. So you can literally find yourself at height above your casualty and you could set this system up so that you could passively lower your casualty from position from up top. So just like you can with a normal descender, run a redirect of the tail line to add a little bit of friction and a little bit of modulation and then simply transfer load onto your system and lower out like you normally would. Now, another nice handy feature here is to use it in aid. So we can clip this device down to our ventral and we can actually just use this as an adjustable lanyard to put ourselves into position and then tension in aid. What else is really nice about this, and it does take a little bit of practice, but if you find yourself in uh, horizontal aid and you wanna be able to release load, reclip, take load, you can easily do your traverses with only a single footstep or no footstep at all because your systems are actually releasable under load. So. Horizontal aid, awesome. Vertical aid, awesome as well. Reach out, full extension, stand up and take. Now you're nice and close. Reach down and move your way up just like you normally would. Vertical aid, horizontal aid, as an independent system, it works great. Next up, an MRS system for positioning. Something that we run into quite a bit in arbor culture, a little bit less in, in rope access, is the use of moving rope systems. Now in tree care, in arboriculture, you find yourself using flip lines or work positioning lanyards quite often. In this scenario, having a device on one side that's easy, easy to hold in position so that you can pay out slack is very important. The pinch does this quite well because of its side and because of the nature that you can actually hold the cam down like you would in like a lead belay scenario. And then you just clip this to your hip. But what you can also do is you can aid in positioning by using this as a moving rope system by simply having the device on your person. And then instead of clipping the termination, pass the termination over your anchor, be it a handrail or a branch or something that doesn't require rope protection. And now you can position by utilizing it just like this. What's nice about this, of course, is that if you find yourself in a position where you need to leave, but you don't want to have to go back to your anchor, you can simply undo your termination and pull it right out. Or if you're out working in hardware and you find an eyelet or you find something that's not gonna fit the carabiner, you can also take the carabiner out, pass the termination through the eyelet or whatever it is back to yourself, do your positioning, but then instead of having to go back and unthread or unclip, take the carabiner out, pull the rope out, reclip, and then you're off to the races. So positioning in a moving rope system or 
having it as a portable moving rope system, just like this, having a termination carabiner off your harness and then clipping this back to your harness as well. You can literally use this as a moving rope position. What's cool in a aid scenario where you wanna keep everything nice and tight and you just wanna be clipping carabiners, you can take a carabiner through the bite that's created here in the MRS and you can clip that utilizing this with both parts of rope as essentially an extendable adjustable cowtail. So there you go. More aid, more work positioning, more moving ropes, moving rope system action. Okay, next up, lowering from above. Um, obviously fixing this to the anchor would be among your first step, paying out enough line so that you can connect to your load or to your rescue, into your uh, rescuer or, or rescuee. Uh, Pre-tensioning is quite simple. Now, of course, if you're gonna leave this behind, you wanna make sure that you back it up just like you would any other device. But when the time comes to lower, using a carabiner with a redirection, simply taking the fall of the line and redirecting up through here, you can lower people or loads out just like you normally would, utilizing the redirection for added friction and control and then functioning the lever as usual. Now, conversely, Obviously, we can use this in a ground anchored or in a rig to lower or rig to rescue scenario. So in that case, you'd be anchoring this device to your ground anchor or to your post or whatever it is. Then this would be going up through another set of anchors, through probably pulleys, and then you would have the line coming all the way down. In this scenario, you can have operators on that line, but then if something were to occur, were to occur or if they needed, um, you know, for instance, the, the ability to ascend and descend without changing their shape or, or doing a bunch of moving on the line, you could either hoist them utilizing this for progress capture or lower them utilizing this yet again with a redirect from the ground like you would in a rig to lower uh, scenario. So there you go, use it as an anchor. Now we've already talked about using this as an anchor when you intend to pay out slack or to use it for either hoisting or lowering. But another thing that you can use is as a static anchor. So if you find yourself in a, in a situation where you want to build a tensioned line, perhaps we're gonna traverse on it like you would on like a Tyrolean, or if you wanted to build a tension line that you would then add systems to so that you had a tension line system in a two rope system traditional build. Very simple, anchor the pinch to one side on your anchor, terminate on the other. Now in the middle, in the working part of the line, you spike in with whatever you would normally attach to the rope, be it your hand ascender or a rope grab of some kind, redirect the fall out of the device to it, and then tension. Important to note there, we only pre-tension lines with one person with that maximum three to one mechanical advantage. We don't really want to overdo it and find ourselves loading our anchor point up with a thousand pounds of pre-tension and then building a system. So one person, three to one, use that as the anchor. If you are going to do that, you are going to obviously leave this anchor so you're not there to babysit it. Best practice, throw uh, uh, overhand on a bite and then clip it back to the carabiner just like that, utilizing another carabiner, not opening the carabiner when it's under load. Cool, cool. Stationary anchor, just another option, plus releasable under load, which is pretty handy. Now, another neat thing that has been covered, especially in the sport arena, but I think really lends itself to some powerful situations in arboriculture specifically, is the fact that the device can clip directly onto bridge hardware, directly onto bridges, or directly into work positioning knees. Because the device is designed literally to integrate with an anchor point or with uh, hardware of, of any other kind, it allows us to bring our device much tighter to the operator. Now, right away, those of us that have experience with the hand cruiser, we know for sure we can actually give ourselves more progress to capture in here if we take our carabiner and we place it up higher. Right away, we just bought ourselves a couple inches. Now, what else you can do and what is cool about the pinch is that the pinch does not require a carabiner to attach to your bridge hardware. So I'm just gonna clip in with my work positioning lanyard here temporarily to show you. Now I'm gonna actually remove the carabiner from the system entirely, open the pinch up, and I'll show you how you can actually interface the pinch directly with the ring on your bridge hardware. So the rope will go in as usual, and then the device will close around both the rope 
and the bridge hardware. Making sure that we put it on the right way. There we go. So now when I take, you'll see that I've removed the entire distance of the carabiner from the system, tightening this up. Also notice that it has held its orientation forward so I don't have to deal with that quarter turn. Now this is all fine and well. We're working towards having a fully optimized rad system with a maximum amount of progress to capture in between. But I can do you one better. Sometimes in my courses, we run across folks that are a little bit shorter and they don't have the same arm span that some of us taller folks do. So you can actually move this down again and eliminate the bridge hardware, attaching the pinch directly to the bridge. So again, I'm gonna take up on my work positioning lanyard, test it, pay out some slack, just like this. Now, I can also overcome the anti-panic on the device by opening the lever all the way and pulling down. Pinch opens all the way up. We can eliminate the ring, and go directly onto the bridge. Notice also on the pinch, they've put in a beautiful bracket here that spreads out the bend radius on the bridge. Now I can attach my fall directly through my hand ascender carabiner. And now I've absolutely maximized the distance between my device and my progress capture and my mechanical advantage, in this case, a hand cruiser with an Axiom carabiner. You'll also probably notice here that I have my work positioning lanyard in play here. Notice, we usually tend to try to get ourselves as tight to the tree as possible. Well, another cool thing that you can do with the pinch is you can mount the pinch directly to your work positioning D, just like this, eliminating the carabiner. So yet again, in situations where I need to get really, really close to my work, I can get myself right there. I can't imagine having to get any closer. Now paying out, I'll lean in, pulling back on the device. You can do that one-handed with two fingers or you can utilize the lever if you'd like. I'll clean this. Clean this. And now I'm prepped to lower on the pinch directly to the bridge. Awesome. And I actually have now covered the entire list, which means, uh, thanks for hanging out. The pinch is awesome. I highly suggest you get one or two or three because they are nice and light. You can rack them on your harness and they have so many uses that you're gonna love it. So Johnny Corthius signing out. Thanks.